Hello, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today, I'll, uh, let's say it's been a while, but that's kind of given with this channel. I'm doing a mining video today because I'm low on resources. I need to talk to you guys. Hang on just a sec, my video screen's off. Sorry about that, my recorder was on top of my notes. It's not helpful. I'm still not great at talking and playing at the same time, if you haven't noticed. So, I'm doing a mining video. I've already made a bit of a strip mine. I've got this map here. Um, it bases like that way. Uh, I've got a bit of a strip mine going here, so I figured I'd just extend this strip mine... Uh, i just extend this strip mine... out. Well, that's a good start. Anyway, I've brought with me a couple iron pickaxes and my diamond pickaxe just in case I need it. And my diamond sword just in case I need that. I probably won't. I'm on the... I'm, I'm still on... For that matter, since I am still on peaceful mode, um, get that shield out of my way, too. Eh, eh. Diamonds from coal, right? Ooh. Anyway, today I am prepared for, I've prepared for the video, I have a glass of milk next to me, I've got my notes, and throughout the video, my voice may change in pitch a bit, and that's because I'm really, I'm trying really hard not to do what's called vocal fry, which I just did at the end of that phrase. Um, anyway... Oh yeah, um, we're in we're in 1.12 now. I, it didn't do a bunch of advancements when I first um, when I first loaded the world because I've been doing a little bit of off-camera work. But hey, what do you know? Anyway, uh, I need to count blocks. I did one, two, three, four, five, and then three between, and then one, two, three, four, five. So, wait, one, two, three, four, five. One, eh, one. Okay, so I need to mine from this point. And I'm going to be mining this way. And talking about how I make videos. Oh. Um. So why am I doing a mining video? It's because I need to practice talking and doing stuff at the same time. I, as you can tell from the way I'm talking right now, I'm sure, I'm not great at that yet. Um, so, I don't... This is... Uh, this is why I don't record very often. It's actually not why I don't record very often, but... Oh, I don't bring any torches. That was a doofy move. I only have nine torches. I didn't make any more for the strip mine. Okay. Well, let's see. Fortunately, I'm picking up some coal. That's what I brought the wood along for. Um, so I'll just do that and that. Bring that in and bring that in. Da, da, da. Unlock the torch recipe after I've already uh, made it. That makes sense. Excellent advancement system and recipe system here. <clears throat> I am sorry. If I clear my throat, that means I have been vocal frying too much. <sighs> so, here we are. Talking. So, it's been even longer than usual since I last updated, hasn't it? And that's partly because I tend to not be able to stick with one world at a time. Um, uh, that's not... Uh, I jump around from, like, I'll see something that sounds interesting and suddenly I'm on to doing another world and have completely forgotten about the world that I was already working on. Um, 
And, I mean, it's not like, there is no wrong way to play this game. But I haven't gotten to play in any world long enough to get to any of the interesting stuff. Um, what am I doing? Repairing pickaxes. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, take a drink here. <clears throat> okay. Um, I don't, I tend to, I tend to move on to the next thing before anything really interesting happens in any of the worlds I play in. Um, most of the, in most of the survival worlds I've got going, at least in single player, like, I don't even have diamonds yet. Like, I don't, I don't do a lot of caving or mining anyway, because it's not really an interesting thing to do. It's another reason, which I guess could be another reason I'm doing this on camera, is to make the mining more interesting. Um, but I don't, yeah, I don't do a lot of mining on camera. Uh, I don't do a lot of mining on my own time, so in a lot of my worlds, especially the ones where I don't want to switch between peaceful mode every few minutes, um, I tend not to mine a whole lot, and I tend to not even get diamonds. Like, I'll get like just enough iron to get by, and I'll work with uh, stone tools. Oh, good. So I'll unlock some die recipes. Those will actually be really useful later. The lapis and the other dies. Um, you'll see. You'll see why. I'll give you a hint. It's because we're in 1.12. Um, but yeah, even on even on this world where I am recording, I have, I'm always in chronic re resource shortage. Um. In quite a few of my worlds, I haven't even gone to the nether yet, um, because that's, you know, terrifying. And also, usually by the time I even get to the point where I would be at all comfortable with going into the nether, I've, I've moved on. I've gone on to the next interesting world. I mean, my first survival world was in... Uh, really big extreme hills biome. So I spent most of that uh, playthrough exploring the overworld. Um, playing completely on peaceful mode for a variety of reasons, partly because it was mostly because it was my first attempt at even playing Minecraft. Um, but yeah, I did a few things in there. Um, was not very good at any of them and left that world to go build a giant treehouse. And the giant treehouse, I started a couple of projects, but never went underground very much. Um, the one time I tried, I, w I accidentally had went into an, an extreme hills biome and got eaten by a silverfish. Um, and even, even on servers, I stay longer, but it's still like I hear lava. Okay, I'll have to watch out for the lava. Um, yeah, even on servers, I just don't stay very long, and that's also part of why I am doing YouTube now. Um, it's because having an audience. What is that? Is that dirt? I think that's dirt. Having an audience holds me accountable for my actions. I can't just move on to the next thing because that'll leave you hanging with what I'm doing here. Um, and addition, in addition to that, it also just makes worlds more fun to play on because I can share, I have someone to share with, with what I'm doing and I can get ideas from you guys on what to build. Like, I'm trying to stick to one goal at a time on this world, because if I start jumping around, I will never stop jumping around, and, so, and a lot of tasks that I want to get done will just never get done. Um, so, my current goal is get, is get Elytra, Elytra, however, the, however you pronounce it, Elytra wings, I guess, I don't know, 
and come back home with them alive. Then I'll start doing some cool builds on this world. Ooh, gold. And I have a few ideas already for what I'm going to do for some of the cool builds. Um, and I'm not going to tell you what they are yet because I want that to be a surprise. But I don't have ideas enough to... Well, maybe I do, but I would love other people's ideas. Oops. Oh. I would love other people's ideas for what to do in this world as well. Because that's like that's one of the really fun things about Minecraft to me is being able to share what you've done, see what other people have done, and get inspiration from other people on what to do. Um, in my YouTubing, I have recently been really inspired by a YouTuber known as Rendog. He is, um, he is part of the group of YouTubers that are on the Hermitcraft server, all of whom are very fun to watch. Um, and he recently started a single-player survival series of his own. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I just really... I love his style of YouTubing, and the way he's playing is just nice to see as well. He's not someone who's like, oh, I'm so good at the game, I'm gonna power through, go to the nether on episode, like, three, and then fight the ender dragon on episode five. Oh. Huh, okay. <laughs> He's just not that type of person, and he's just really enthusiastic about his commentary. He's telling a story I've um, recently learned from all the Hermits, really, on the Hermitcraft server, that um, that in order that a good Minecraft good Minecraft builds tend to have some sort of story or lore behind them. And I don't have that at all in my world. I only have inspiration for that, but I'll, <laughs> I'll kind of make up a story as I go along, because that's how you do it, right? So, I'll be doing some building once I've beaten the Ender Dragon. I'll be prettying up the place. I've learned a lot in the past few months about how to make Minecraft builds look better. Um, from, not, from, from Randog and a bunch of the other hermits, and also from YouTubers like Brian, who is, um, who is, that's pretty much what he does, is how to build stuff well. Um, <clears throat> I feel like I'm not still frying, uh, fr still frying my voice too much, I'm just not, <laughs> not used to talking for this long at a time. But it's nice knowing that I'm not going to have a whole lot of dead air. Because dead air is not usually something you want, unless it's for dramatic or comedic effect, which I have seen done. Um, but I don't... Dead air is usually not a good thing. Another drop shop. I have my, I have my music off right now. Sorry, there's no, um, there's no possibility of hearing some nice, some nice music while we're down here because it's all turned off. Oh well, I'm not gonna change it at this point. I'm going in and out of menus all the time. Um. Oh, one reason I haven't been playing on this world as much, in addition to just me being, like, really busy with college. One reason is because I, I learned how to make modded Minecraft work, and I've been playing modded, and that's really, f that's so fun. I, what, I love, 
I'm doing the uh, I doing I'm doing the Project Ozone mod pack because that's what I happen to have. Um, that's what I happen to be doing for another thing for a, for a server that I was on. Um, oh, I used up all my coal. I seriously haven't found more coal. Oh no. Oh dear. I've been finding everything but coal. Uh, I guess I'll just press on. Anyway, <laughs> I was on a uh, a Project Ozone 2 server, and a lot of the, a lot of times when you're on a server, uh, a lot of the stuff that you need to do at the beginning of the game gets done for you, which is nice. It means you can jump at, jump right into the stuff and discover that you really like it, like I did. Um, but I wanted to see how it would be on single player, on a normal world. So I did that, and I've been playing that pretty... F I wouldn't say pretty frequently, because I haven't been playing much of anything really frequently. But, uh... But I have been... I have been playing... Uh, I have been playing some single player modded and I want to know should I do a series on that oh of course now I find coal should I do a series a modded let's play I didn't I didn't start off I didn't start off this modded world um, with let's playing it because I didn't think, I didn't think, I wanted to focus on the mods instead of on talking. So if I do it at all, it'll be, the heck was that noise? Ah, I heard a weird noise. So if I do it at all, it'll be when I have a bit more experience um, with this whole YouTube thing. But would that be a thing that, uh, that you'd be interested in watching me do at all. Like, um, like, I'm not, I'm not sure I would, I'm not sure whether I would want to or not. I think I, I think I would eventually. But like I said, once I've gotten a bit more experience with YouTube in general, um, but, yeah, it'd be the Project Ozone 2 mod pack, unless you guys wanted to see a different mod pack. Uh, there are a couple that sound interesting, or I could try making my own. Uh, look for a few, look for a few interesting mods out there that I might, or mod packs out there that I might prefer instead. I wouldn't do any of the RPG-like ones, like a lot of YouTubers I know have been doing Sprout, have been doing one called Sprout lately. That's not. That's not really my thing. If I wanted to, if I wanted to play an RPG, I'd play an RPG. I don't, I don't play Minecraft for that. I play, <laughs> I play Minecraft for Minecraft. So that would be something to keep in mind if I picked a different mod pack. <clears throat> and uh, speaking of speaking of speaking of uh, things that I not sure whether to YouTube. Um, I believe I was talking a little bit about the labyrinth in the last video, but I cut myself off and didn't really go back to it. I may or may not go back to it, go back to the labyrinth. And I need your guys' opinion on that because I don't know what to do about it. See, <laughs> It's a map meant for early alpha. I'm not used to alpha Minecraft. I <laughs> it's difficult for me to practice alpha Minecraft because there's like nothing interesting to do in it other than custom maps. So I can't really practice my my um, zombie fighting or my or my any of the mechanics. Um, one thing that's 
one thing the mod, the Project Ozone 2 mod pack has is Vein Miner, and that is so helpful with big coal veins. Anyway, back to the labyrinth. Um, I started the series and haven't gone back to it in a really long time. And I want to know if I should. Ooh, gold. Thank you, coal. <laughs> this is why I, this is one reason why I almost always mine coal. Because it leads you to better stuff. But the labyrinth is... Um is a map I really like. I'm not sure if... <laughs> I don't know if I like it for what it is, or if I like it for the nostalgia of watching other YouTubers play it. Um, and, uh... And I'm not, like... Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm excited to play it. It's actually really fun to play. But <laughs> it's really hard, it's really difficult for me to commentate and, uh, and play as a labyrinth at the same time, because it's a really tough map. So I don't know if I want to do any more YouTube with it at all, or even finish the map. I think, <laughs> I think I'd go crazy if I didn't finish the map myself, because I need closure, but should I finish it on YouTube, or should I finish it off camera and come back at the end? Because I, I have an idea, I, I will do one, I have an idea for a finale episode um, that I want to do for the Labyrinth, and I would like to know if you guys, if you want to see the rest of the map leading up to it, because, <laughs> um, and like, here's the thing, the map, the videos I've done already are not good quality videos, <laughs> I'll just say that right there, my, um, my recording software was being funky, I didn't really know what I was doing when I was commentating, lots of dead air, lots of mumbling, um, so, if I were to make more videos of the Labyrinth, it, there might, like, people viewing the playlist later... Whoa, hello, lighting glitch. Goodbye, lighting glitch. Oh, oh, it's not a lighting glitch, it's one of those chunk boundary glitches. Oh, those are unnerving sometimes. Anyway, people viewing the, um, playlist later would, um, would watch the first three videos in one quality, and the rest of the videos in a completely different, at a completely different level of quality, and that might be really weird, and undesirable, I don't know, um, but if I don't finish it off camera, or if I don't finish it on camera, I mean, then I have a half-finished, um, I have a half-finished custom map, I have a half-finished series, um, I have a half-finished series on my channel, and that's, might be just as bad, honestly. Um, there is also the option of uh, starting the map over, and just deleting the videos of it that I have right now, in which case, um, certain future viewers of this may end up ha having no idea what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> I could start the map over, delete the videos I have of it, make new videos of it, and go from there. Those are my, so those are my three options. Do I start over? Do I keep going on camera? Do I keep going off camera? No matter what I do, I have a special idea for the finale episode, so I def there will definitely be at least one more episode of that map, just because I want- I like showing it off. It was- um, not many people think of it as an iconic custom map, but I think of it as an iconic map because it was- ooh! Because it was one of the first 
custom maps. <laughs> Diamonds aren't even what I'm looking for in this mining session, but oh, but, but I mean, man, are they... Like, I'm not gonna turn down diamonds, but this is not really what I was looking for. I was looking for stuff like that redstone. Um. And, uh. So I, so, so I like to show off the map, because I think it's a great map. It's, um, iconic, and for the time, it was really well made, like one made today, um, like, there was no, there was no need for, there was no need for a story, there was no need for any crazy effects, it just was what it was, it showed people that, um, th th that kind of adventure map is a thing that people would enjoy, and I really like that about it. But I just don't know what ha what to do when it comes to YouTubing it. So yeah, advice on that would be um, much appreciated. Com uh, tell me in the comment section um, what you would like to see me do with it. I've been recording for almost half an hour now. Uh, so I'm going... So, let me just pause for a sec to get a drink and see if there's anything I need else I need to uh, talk about. <laughs> I think I covered everything. I think I covered everything I wanted to say. Um... So, I might do a little more mining off camera, as usual. If I do that, I'll be, like, listening to music while I do it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I've said all I needed to say, and I've said it in a way that, in a, uh, situation in which I can say it all without, um, without getting distracted and cutting myself off, or hopefully, and hopefully without rambling too much. So, yeah, well, that's <laughs> one thing I apparently do not know how to do is end off a video, despite having done... how many videos so far? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to... I'm going to also change around my playlist of this series a bit, because <laughs> the episodes come so far apart that I made season, a season 2 playlist and then made a season 3 playlist without realizing that I only had one video in the season 2 playlist. So yeah, that's that'll be fixed eventually. Um, and yeah, next episode I'll finish up that mob farm so that we can get to um, so that we can get to collecting some cool drops and Oh, and furthering our goal to get to the end and get those elytra wings. So, uh, with that, I will see you next time.